Lord Pearson Aranek. My Lords, I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. My Lords, it is just a year since the Finsbury Park terror attack on the mosque, and I am reminded how the Muslim community acted then with dignity, determination and compassion, as no doubt the noble Lord is also so reminded. Our Government is clear on its strong objective to tackle hate crime. Free speech and freedom of belief are fundamental principles of our society. The Government has no plans to require monitoring of preaching in mosques or in any other faith institution. My Lords, I am grateful to the Noble Lord for that reply, but I, I fear it underestimates the problem, uh, because the Government must know that hatred of us Kufar is central to radical Islam, that it is being taught in our mosques and madrasas, and that their own behavioural insights team has said that their present policies are failing. So, my Lords, shouldn't the Government get real? by requiring all such teaching to be in English as soon as possible, and by insisting on far greater collaboration from our peaceful Muslim friends in the meantime. After all, my Lords, they know what's going on. And my Lords, will the Government please... <laughs> and my Lords, will the Government please stop using the word Islamophobia? Because it is surely reasonable and not at all phobic to fear the world's most violent ideology, from which indeed most from, from which indeed most hate speech now comes. Uh, my, my Lords, first of all, the government is committed to tackling Islamophobia. Secondly, my Lords, if I could perhaps refresh the noble Lord's memory or tell the noble Lord of two recent visits I've done in relation to faith institutions one to a mosque in Manchester, an excellent mosque in Gorton, where Jews and Christians were welcomed for the great iftar, and it was a true expression of British Muslim activity. Similarly, on the, the, the previous day, I'd visited the Manchester Islamic High School for Girls, where the opening words from the headmistress was how proud she was to be British, but she was also proud to be Muslim. My lords, my lords... My lords, my, lo my lords, I don't like to read, but I'm going to be really careful as to how I phrase this with reference to the original question. Uh, so could I ask Her Majesty's uh, Government whether, in pursuit of their anti-terrorism strategy, they will require preaching in the form of oral questions and debates in your Lordship's house to be monitored for hate speech and Islamophobia against Muslims? And, my lords, does he agree with me that Tommy Robinson, who has sadly and too much disgust been hosted in your Lordship's house for tea and lunch, and is now serving time, I believe, in Her Majesty's prison hall, is now in a more appropriate place for someone who thinks, speaks and preaches and conducts himself as he does? Uh, my Lords, my, my noble friend makes some powerful points, and I pay tribute to what she does in this uh, regard. First of all, I, I do agree with her about the importance of people in this House exercising uh, discretion, of course, within the bounds of free speech about what, what they say. Secondly, I, I, can, uh, I, do, I am aware that Tommy Robinson is in Her Majesty's prison hull, and I was aware that he was hosted here recently. I was in hull recently myself, but not on prison visits, on faith visits. My lords, my lords, the Labour Party has been criticised, and rightly as it is now acknowledged, for failing to respond promptly to claims of anti-Semitism in its ranks. Recently, we've learned of a number of cases of Islamophobia in the Conservative Party, and today it has emerged that four weeks ago, the Muslim Council of Britain wrote to Brandon Lewis, the party chairman, requesting an inquiry to which they received no reply, prompting them to write again yesterday, saying, and I quote, we cannot have an approach where you are hoping that the issue would magically go away so that it could avoid a bruising inquiry into anti-Muslim prejudice. Will the noble Lord the Minister, held as he is in the highest regard in this House, use his best endeavours to ensure that his party and the government respond constructively to the concerns expressed on behalf of our Muslim fellow citizens. Yeah, yeah. My, my, my Lords, can I first of all thank the Noble Lord for his, his kind words and also his words in relation to anti-Semitism, which does need tackling in all political parties, as does uh, Islamophobia 
my Lords, and I fully accept that. Uh, he will probably be aware the Prime Minister answered a question in this in PMQs today and made it clear of our determination to deal with this issue. I can't give him an update of a letter that was sent yesterday. That probably will take a bit longer. But there have been suspensions, there have been expulsions, and wherever there is evidence of Islamophobia uh, in our party, it will be severely dealt with and often with expulsions. And I hope we can look to other political parties to do the same in all religions. This is something that affects all of us, my lords, and I share the aspiration of the noble lord that this is properly dealt with. My lords, lords. the noble lord, the minister, agree that that attempts to stigmatise Order. My Order. Lords, Order. I, I do think we should hear from the Lib Dems and then there will be time for the cross benches. Would the Noble Lord the Minister agree that attempts to stigmatise Muslims, as the original question does, is unworthy of any member of your Lordship's House? Yeah. Yeah. And such language aids those who op- oppose cohesive communities <clears throat> and encourages hate crimes, attacks on both mosques and individual Muslims. My my, my Lords, uh, I very much agree with the the noble lady on that issue. She will know, as I know, that the great mass of people in this country want the cohesive communities that we have for the most part. And as I go around the country, I see that, and we need to ensure that that is the norm. It is the norm. We need to ensure that it is universally the case, which sadly it isn't yet, but it is very, very much the case across all of our communities, my Lords. My Lords, uh, as a teacher of Islamic law, I would like to make a correction to the statement. Islam accepts all religions that preceded it, all religion of the book, are accepted and respected. And this is a Quranic teacher. Therefore, there is no time or respect for anyone who demonizes any religion. And that should include Islam as well. My, my Lords, I'm most grateful to, to the noble lady who speaks with great authority on this issue, and I, I, I'm sure it's, uh, it's something that the whole House will take note of, and it is, as I say, as I go around the country and visit mosques and other religious institutions, it is evidence of what is happening up and down Britain. That is exactly as the noble lady has uh, said it is. My Lords, my Lords. My Lords. My Lords, will the noble Lord the Minister agree with me that pursuing anti-terrorism is not just the business of the government, but all citizens of the United Kingdom. Therefore, if you don't mind uh, an African saying, that when two elephants fight or make love, the grass gets hurt. What won't work is either side of the house thinking it is doing a better job than another. All of us are involved in trying to resist terrorism and it doesn't matter where it comes from. And it is the duty of every citizen to pursue this particular reality. And the other thing is, I lived in Uganda at one time when Idi Amin could just pick up anybody. It didn't matter who you are, what you believed. What is critical when we, as citizens of the nation, don't assess the whole question of overcoming (coughs) terrorism, it would be a mistake to think that's purely an Islamic question. Uh, most, most grateful to, to the most Reverend Primate for, for his words and certainly this is something for all of us and it's something for all religions as he has said. It is uh, something that is reflected in the integration green paper which we have been consulting upon and uh, I was recently in Peterborough, one of our areas uh, in relation to trailblazing integration to see the good work that's being done there across all religions, my lords.